Let us breathe and pray. Hello. Buenas, if you will, let us breathe and pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this morning with the greatness of the love that you have for us, O oh Father. Dear God, we thank you and we adore you this morning because there is no other God apart from you. We thank you, dear God, because of the way that you have called us, dear God, through the week and now we are here. We want to adore you, we want to place you and to say that you are great, O oh Father. Dear God, continue uh, standing with us, dear God, even when we look weak, dear God, you have continued to be our God. And even this morning, dear God, we want you, dear God, to come and reign, dear God, with us. So that's every other minute, dear God, that we are going to stay in this sanctuary, dear God. Your goodness and your blessings, dear God, will fill this place. And your people, dear God, shall be fed because you be together with us, O oh God. Help us even as we start to play and as we start to do anything else, dear God. We pray with a lot of simplicity, dear God. And with a lot of sincerity and greatness, dear God, and being grateful, dear God, because of the things that you have done for us. Dear God, we thank you. We adore you, dear God, and even as the 24 elders, dear God, sees, dear God, with you, dear God, and place your name and honor you. Dear God, we want to do the same and say that Hori, Hori is your name. There is no other God, and there will be no other God apart from you, O oh Father. Dear God, we thank you and we praise you. Dear God, we also come to you with a repentant heart, O oh Father. Because throughout our lives, dear God, we have been sinful, O oh Father. And every time, dear God, you have given us a second chance, O oh Father. And near now, dear God, this week we have done many things. Some of them, dear God, are pleasing other, God, other things, dear God, have not been pleasing, pleasing dear God, unto your eyes. Oh, dear God, we pray that you can help us to understand our sins and also to hate our sins, dear God, so that we can continue knowing you, dear God, and understanding your steps, dear God. And also remembering the needs of others, dear God, as we continue also to remember our needs, dear God, and understanding the glorious life, dear God, of Jesus Christ, that he had to give the price of dying, so that our sins may be forgiven, dear God, and that we can stand again and say that you are gone and we can also be given a second chance, O oh Father. Dear God, forgive us, O oh Father. In other ways, dear God, we have hated our neighbors. We have talked ill about those people that we are living together with. We have talked ill about those people who have continued to serve us, O oh God. How we repent this morning. So that, dear God, in everything, dear God, and every prayer and supplication as we come unto thee, O oh, our God, you are going to hear our prayers, and you are going to listen to our prayers, and you are going to answer our prayers because we have come to you, dear God, with the humbleness and knowing that you are the only God. We thank you and we adore you this morning. How, oh, dear God, we pray for the church in the whole world. People are gathered and congregated in different places of this world, O oh Father. Placing you and playing and glorifying you, dear God, because you are good and you are worthy. Remember them, dear God, and help them to understand and also to know exactly why they are placing you and to know their destiny, O oh Father. Dear God, and in particular, you can remember our Presbyterian church, O oh Father. And dear God, we also remember our church in PCS Sukari. And dear God, you continue to help, even God, all the believers who come and congregate here. Dear God, thinking and knowing that this is the place where you can get our healing, dear God. A week may be, a week that would have been so tiring, dear God. Our hearts may be hurt in different ways, oh Father. But when we come here in the presence and in the greatness of you, oh God, your love is great, great, dear God. And you have continued to let us understand the reason of congregating and placing you and playing together. So thus, dear God, we can continue to be called your sons and your daughters because we have believed in you. Oh, dear God, we also remember the readership of the whole world, oh, Father. 
Dear God, there are so many things that are happening. There are countries with problems, fights, dear God, and war from country to country. But you are the God who was there from the beginning. You are there today and you will be there even at the end of age, dear God. From every horizon to the end of every horizon, dear God, you have been gone and you see us, dear God, to the deepest of our hearts. Help the readers, dear God, who are reading the nations so that the nation can continue, dear God, to understand you and they can continue to fear you so that, dear God, we can give respect to each and every one. From the big nations to the small nations, dear God, so that peace may prevail and we may live in the peace, dear God, that was there from the beginning. We thank you, dear God. And also we want to thank you, dear God, in particular because of Kenya. Dear God, and of the readership, and we pray from the reader who is the president, dear God, up to the person, dear God, who is, an, uh, who is at the bottom, oh Father. That you can help the readers to understand, dear God, that they were elected, dear God, because you had a purpose and a reason for this. Dear God, sometimes they have gone astray and they have gone to different directions and they have diverted, dear God, the good reason that we ha well, you had made them, dear God, to be elected in the position. Guide them and read them, dear God, so that they can continue to understand why, dear God, they were chosen and they also need to understand the way they are going to take the country, dear God, because they must be accountable for everything that they do. God, we thank you, dear God, even because of this, uh, because of our church, oh Father. That, dear God, you have given us a big work, dear God, ahead of us. The work that you have given the mission group, dear God, to reach the unleashed and to preach the gospel to them, dear God. Because, dear God, we understand that until the gospel is preached to the end of age, oh Father, and it is reached to all nations, oh Father, dear God, you are not able to come because you want everyone to understand your word. So that we will be able, dear God, to account for what we do did. Dear God, so that we can help others who have not reached to the destination, dear God, understand. Even those who do the Bible translations, dear God, may you continue to stand with them. May you continue to help them, dear God, so that those people who may have been forgotten can be called your people again, O oh Father. And when this church, dear God, gathers its funds, dear God, and finances, so that it can reach to those people, dear God, who seems to be forgotten, God will continue to bless them. From our, from our parish minister, dear God, to the readers, dear God, who stand with him, dear God, so that all this mission work that have been done, dear God, may be accomplished. We praise you and we honor you and we thank you, dear God, even because of the finances that you assist the people with, dear God, so that your work may be, dear God, healed and may be enormous, dear God, and it would reach to all destinations, dear God, of this life. Also, thank you, dear God, because of the members who come here every other Sunday to praise you and to honor you. And even at the time that they give so that the mission work can be done, oh God, and your boundaries, dear God, may be expanded and the territories, dear God, may be expanded so that you can continue to give them the heart of giving. You can continue to give them the heart of understanding, dear God, so that not any one time, dear God, that they will come and say that they will regret Dear God, because of what you did for them, oh Father, we thank you and we honor you, God, because you are good. We thank you, God, because you see to the point that we cannot see, oh Father. In this sanctuary, dear God, there are people who are suffering in many ways. And we want to thank you, dear God, because you know all the problems that we are passing through. Because in your book of Isaiah, you have said that even when we pass through waters, dear God, we shall not be drowned. And when we shall be passing through the fires, dear God, we shall not be burned because you are going to walk together with us. People in your church, dear God, have suffered deeply, dear God, in their soul, physically, emotionally. And dear God, you have continued to be God. Dear God, you also remember that last week, dear God, this week, dear God, there is a family, dear God, where we had gone to bury a very young daughter, oh God. And this God, you knew the daughter from the beginning. But our prayer today is that you can come and hold our hearts.
And you hold the hearts of the parents, dear God, and also for the institution, dear God. So that even the classmates, when they embark in the course of the week, dear God, they will be able to understand and to accept the situation so that their lives, dear God, will not be the same again, oh God. Also help us to understand that even our next days, because, because they are numbered, dear God, we shall also be called home. But help us to understand the way we shall be coming, oh Father, so that we may not go astray, dear God, but we can follow the path that was made for us by Jesus Christ. Even when he died on the cross, so that, dear God, our sins may be forgotten, and if we follow the way of the cross, dear God, and we carry our own cross, dear God, we will be able to make it to the heaven's gate, oh God. We thank you and we praise you, oh Father, because you are good and you are worthy. Dear God, we also want to praise you and to pray, dear God. There are people who are sick at home. There are people who are sick in hospital. There are people who cannot even have the finances to go to hospital, oh Father. But God, because you live it forever, and you are loving hand, dear God, you will, 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 will stretch your loving hand and your healing hand, so that these people, dear God, will be healed forever they are. Those requiring big finances, dear God, so that their bills may be deflated, oh God. How we pray that you are going to see them to the bottom of their hearts and you are going to stretch your hand for healing and also for the financial needs that they will be having, oh Father. And each and every time, dear God, even when they will wake up from their beds, dear God, from where they have been admitted, dear God, from their ailment, dear God, they will stand and say that there is no other God apart from you. And they will place you, dear God, angels and ages, dear God. Saying that there is no other God apart from you because of where you have taken them from. Dear God, there are some diseases that where human beings, dear God, would say that these people are not going to get well. But that that is impossible with man, we know it is very possible with you, God. We praise you and we honor you because we know that you are going to help us. Then you are going to help them, dear God, through your hand and your loving arm so that these people would be healed again. And they will continue that you are the God who liveth and the God who heals the diseases, O oh Father. Dear God, there are people who are emotionally, dear God, affected by so many things happening in this world. There are people who are financially down and they cannot stand again, oh God. You are the God of the second chance. Visit them, dear God. Help them to understand that, dear God, when you come, things will not be the same again. Dear God, help them to know that you are God who liveth. The God who saw, dear God, for the people who are there and the God who is today and the God God who will be there even at the end of age. And when we trust in you, dear God, we know that we are going to accomplish so many things, dear God. How we pray, dear God, for our institutions, dear God. As they are reopening, dear God, in the course of the week, how we pray, dear God, even of the parents, dear God, so that you are going to help them even to get the finances to get the children back to school, oh Father. Dear God, we know that there are those people who cannot be able to have something, dear God, to touch and take their children back home. But this day, this morning, oh God, we stand and pray, dear God, because of all those people, parents and the guardians, dear God, who are going to stand and see their, uh, their children, dear God, through this education. Dear God, stretch your loving heart. Dear God, you are merciful. And you are going to help them, dear God, to get all the finances that they require so that the children will get back to school. Dear God, we thank you. Even as the learners come back, dear God, so that may me be able, dear God, to understand you and also to understand what they are going to be taught so that they can continue knowing you, dear God, and knowing whatever that is required for them. And they will not be ashamed, and they will not be ashamed to the parents, dear God, and also they will not be ashamed themselves, dear God, because you are going to continue to be together with them. Help us, dear God, this morning. As we gather to listen to the word of the day today, dear God. How we pray, dear God, because of the one who is going to give your word. Dear God, you have chosen him so that your word would come, dear God. And even when the word comes to our hearts, dear God, it will help us to grow spiritually. It will help us, dear God, even to be healed emotionally. 
It will help us, dear God, even physically when we are walking, we know that we are not walking alone, but we are walking with you, Jesus. Oh, you are gone and you are worthy. Dear God, as the man of God standeth today, oh, Father, how we pray that you are going to help him, dear God. And also you are going to touch his tongue, dear God, so that every word that, dear God, is going to speak, this word, dear God, will help us this morning, and it will continue, dear God, to nourish our hearts, dear God, today and even for the rest of our lives, dear God. We thank you, dear God, and we praise you, dear God. Every other time, dear God, when we gather, we want to be gathering and telling you, dear God, that is our problems, dear God, carry us through, because we cannot do it without you, dear God. Dear God, as we embark on a new week starting tomorrow, dear God. Oh God, we want to thank you, dear God, because of the jobs that you have given some of us. Dear God, because of the businesses that you have given some of us. Where, dear God, we are getting our daily bread, oh Father. Dear God, even because of those with certificates, dear God, and have not been in a position to, to secure a job. Oh God. We know that you know all this, dear God, and you are going to help us as we start this new week, that a new thing and a new beginning is going to come, because you have promised that, dear God, that you are God of the second chance. You gave a second chance, dear God, to your apostle, uh, apostle Peter, even when he had denied Jesus three times, dear God. And you told him, dear God, that when the cock crows, he'll have denied you three times. But at the end of it all, dear God, you said that on Peter, dear God, you are going to build your church and the gates of hell will not prevail, O oh Father. Because you had given him, dear God, a second chance. This morning we pray because of the second chance, dear God, for those people who are struggling in life. Those people who are working, dear God, and maybe their employers are not understanding. Help them, dear God, so that every other time time, they can continue to understand each other and the work will be done. This is where they get their living bread. Let this week, dear God, be a different week altogether. For those people in business, dear God, maybe last week they did not sell anything and their business was low, oh Father. This new week comes with their new blessings, dear God, and you are going to work together with them. Help them, dear God, in whatever they need. Help them, dear God, even as they consolidate, dear God, their capital, to, to maybe to continue with your business, dear God. Oh God, we thank you so that, dear God, those who are working, oh Father, you can help us to have the mind that is a mindset that is going to assist and to help even the employers because there is a target that is set for the year. Dear God, help us so that the target set will be met, dear God, because you are going to be together with us. And even when we are working so hard, let also the employers understand, dear God, that we are working, dear God, because you are the, the Lord who sees us. And you are the one who is guiding us in whatever we are doing. You are going to make our ways better, O oh Father, so that the understanding, dear God, will continue your goodness and your greatness, O oh God. Dear God, as we come to the end, O oh Father, of every other day and every other service, we'll be very honored, dear God, to have summed together with you. And every time, dear God, every end of the day will be a success, O oh Father, because we'll have worked together with you. O oh God, bless each and every one of, this, of, of the people who have congregated here, so that when we'll be leaving the doors of this sanctuary, we'll go home, not the way we came in. And we'll continue to praise you and to honor you. And to tell you, God, were it not because of you, where we are, we could not have been there, dear God. There are so many people who have been in great success, dear God. Let them, dear God, respect and honor you so that you can place them up, dear God. And so that they can understand your goodness, oh Father. Remember every member in this congregation, our needs our requirements, our problems, our goodness, our thanksgiving, oh Father, because of the good things our, you have done, our problems where we have gone through the valleys of the shadow of death, oh God, remember us and take us through. And when we leave this congregation, oh God, we will be able, dear God, to go through the week because you will have, you will have found favor in us and you have given us your mercy, dear God, so that we can continue you can continue, dear God, to bless us, and we can continue to be your children. And our prayer, dear God, 
that at the end of everything, oh God, when we come into heaven, oh God, we shall be accept acceptable sons and daughters. So that, dear God, we may not be thrown out, oh God. Because outside, there will be bad things that will be happening. But our prayer it is that none of us, dear God, will miss heaven because we are going to continue with your goodness and to continue feeling new and honoring you because you are our God. God, we thank you and we honor you. God, we praise you. Shower your blessings in the sanctuary, God. Shower your blessings into your members, oh God. Shower your blessings into the leaders, oh God. Shower your blessings, dear God, even to the little children. This is our prayer. A prayer of faith in Jesus Christ that we do pray and trust. Our Father, Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come. Give us this dear dear bread and forgive us our trespasses. As forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power.